Okay, so the suicide of Rachel Foster, which is very similar to the games we played previously on the channel, such as What Remains of Edith Finch and The Vanishing of Ethan Carter. I've wanted to play this game for a while, but I actually totally forgot all about it until it recently popped up on my computer and as soon as I saw it I was like I've got to play this next so I'm really looking forward to it I hope it lives up to my expectations it's had great reviews I hope you guys enjoy it too let's go The story you're about to live is shaped by its details. Oh, oh, I cannot read that fast. My dear Nicole. You are the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, smart and fair. We've been through a lot and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Faced with the dragon, one must brandish sword and shield. Sometimes one has to know when to kneel before the dragon. I've always thought of you as a fighter who faced with the toughest challenges is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father, but now I need to tell you a few things before this illness separates us. So Nicole's mother is ill. Although this looks like we're at a funeral. The affair your father had with that young woman nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what was going through your head in that moment. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. I was there. I've always been there. When you disclate dis dislocated your shoulder at the first game when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize and when you kissed Duncan Forbes under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985 you marched against abortion in your first year at college Duncan was a good kid but even if I've never said so before I immediately thought you wouldn't have a lot to talk about talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There is so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. I never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say, sell our hotel. The hotel is my family's and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter which your father has passed away. I will already be gone long. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and give the rest of the girl's family and give and give the rest to the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for. 
fighting for or dying for, believe me, I love you above all else. Your mother, June 24th, 1991. Oh my God, I'm gonna well up already. It's like a couple of minutes into the game. weather crossing Montana is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winters in Lewis and Clark County? So there's a bad storm. Which is never a good sign. It normally means um, we're going to get trapped in one location due to the storm. Okay. The smell. It's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. I'm just figuring out the buttons, what we can do. So that is a really bad storm. We can, we can run a little bit. Still fairly slow. Leonard's motorbike. So, okay, so it says observe, so does that mean we can't open it? We can only look at it? Sounds pretty terrifying to be fair. What's happened here? Mom's car. Timberline. Head out. I have no idea if there is going to be jump scares or, or anything like that in this game. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor, if I remember right. Main floor. Boiler room. Okay, let's get the phone and then I think we'll have time to Please look around. Please 
Oh, we have got a voicemail. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? What's your emergency? Mr. McGrath, hi, it's Pauly from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I, I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before <coughs> we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. Oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? All right. Well, the storm isn't going to let me run off. I don't think there's... We should have hired a decent attorney choice. from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Hmm. Come on, let's do this. All right, so I've got to go collect the key, and we have a map now as well. To-do list. Mr. Jenkins said he left management key in the master suite. Uh, press LB to show previous floors or next floor. Okay. So, what... Uh, where are we? Museum. Second floor. Master suite. Okay, let's... Um, so basement, so that's where we started in the garage. Uh, uh, master suite, okay. I think we're just going to have to start looking around and, and learn our way around a little bit. Not rely too much on the map. Leonard's cup and a pen. Amazing. Financial records. Claire Wilson, 1980 American Cooking Contest, successful completion of the knowledge and experience requirements in the hotel service. You are here, right? Can we go down this way? Oh no, they go up.
I really hope nothing jumps out at me. Or worse, chases me. This is definitely very eerie, especially with the noise of the storm outside as well. First floor, okay. Let's go to the first floor. What's that noise? Nice bathtub. <laughs> Toothpaste. I mean, you can pick all these things up. I'm not sure if we really need to or whether we're gonna, I don't wanna miss out on a clue. That, that's the only thing. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Master sweet, here we go. Going the right way. Hello? These all books. Testament, last will and testament of Leonard McGrath. Jenkins' letter. Uh, dear Ms. Nicole Wilson, this is, a, this is to inform you that the nominated personal representative, Claire Wilson, is intended to transfer the property of Leonard McGrath's last will and testament. All the ownership rights and responsibility are now attributed to the, to the recipient. Please acknowledge receipt of this letter and confirm indicating your consent to the above transmission, returning it to me in a correct envelope. If I do not receive your reply objection to the proposed transfer, I will assume that you accord to it and there will not be any further problems regarding the owning of the property named above. Thank you for your attention to this matter, lawyer Benjamin Jenkins. I'm not going to waste time picking up every single item that says observe until I feel like I need to do it as part of searching for a specific clue because there's so much to look at here. Um, we could spend a lot of time just picking stuff up that may be just completely irrelevant. Leonard's book. Trying to zoom in so I can read it better, but it won't let me. 
love you, Rachel. Rachel is sad. Rachel doesn't want to do her speech therapy exercises. Picture face down. Oh, this looks a cool room. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and mom left ten years ago. It's so. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. are ready, but we are waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that there will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition for stockpiles of fuel. Instructions to refrain from going outside unless isolated ports return at home. Why do I get the feeling at some point the power is going to go in the hotel and we're gonna be in in the dark. Oh, that, there's a key. This is the manager's key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. <laughs> I'll need a master key for the guest rooms though. Okay. What is this, a joke? Hello? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, uh, uh this is, um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is, uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, Hopefully. wiring, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. Uh, I... You... Uh... Bye. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at the map again. Uh, right, so... This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Oh my god. Press to run? Why? What am I running from? Please don't, please nothing chase me. Definitely not leaving in this storm. like a secret door. I 
feel like I would I could do with a torch. Overlook report. Hello? Hey, you still there? Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. I I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Ah, uh, uh, the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, well, yeah. I'm not gonna walk in it, but I don't think we should be driving in that either. Uh, yeah? Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Uh, seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! What can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. Yeah, it, it didn't look the best of cars to... to drive out in that storm. I won't stay here a minute more. No way. The attorney, he'll take care of everything. Fuck all this. <laughs> so many different ways to go. Circle. Brilliant. Kitchen area. Wow, there's so many rooms. Wait, we've been here. Yes. Okay. Let's let's check the the creepy kitchen. Moldy food. Right, let's have a look at the map. So, take back the car and get away from here before the storm arrives. Right, okay. I'm guessing this isn't gonna be successful, but let's get back to the basement. I think we came, yeah, this way. Now I've got the key, I can open all these these doors. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. You sure? Think so. Maybe someone... <sighs> no, listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God 
Damn it, I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Huh. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen, I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Oh, oh I will. Fine. Who leaves the car keys on the seat of the car? Okay, so... I have to open the garage door. Okay, hope it's working. So let's try the garage door. This is like the slowest run ever. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, the stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look. I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. I haven't heard that name since I left. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. So now what? I mean, if it was me, I I really wouldn't want to be staying in here alone for a night. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door. I can't get out of here without freezing. Christ. It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Better be safe up here. Uh, okay. Uh, later. believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. I swear to God. Oh. Oof. I wondered what was happening then. Day one. How many days do we end up being here for? Okay, we're back in the manager's suite. I think it was called. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. <laughs> well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Oh, look at the state of this bathroom. Okay, so we've survived a night. Oh, the master suite, not the manager's suite.
guess we'll just go exploring then. Uh, let's. Oh yeah, we've not been. We've not been to the second floor yet, and we've not been down here yet. Irving, it's me again. Obviously, I could really use a shower. Sure. You'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my oh. mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. Yeah. You won't have trouble finding it. Pretty sure we saw it earlier on. Uh, is there more? Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, I don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, bean broth. <laughs> Starving suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Okay, this is the furnace. Uh, so how do we turn it on? Button. Irving. Are you at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. Wait, what did you say? <laughs> Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Picture. So, we turning this furnace on or what? How's it going? It looks real complicated. Furnaces are all the same. Can you see the control panel? Uh, I guess. Uh-huh. What does the pressure gauge read? Oh. Huh? The thing that looks like a clock. Looks like 220? Oh. I don't like the sound of oh. It should be more like 210 PSI. Pressure's building. Are you saying I have a choice between freezing or blowing up? <laughs> no. Push the green button. It's the starter. Old farting ghost, you rank spirit. Wake up! Huh? Nothing, just talking to an old friend. <laughs> Push the green button. Okay, got it. It's easy enough. And here he is, in tip top shape, I'd say. <laughs> you were right, the furnace is haunted. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now you've got hot water. You have no idea how grateful I am. Just doing my job. Uh. Right, so... Give me some good news. Uh, just letting you know that the rooms will heat up before the hallways. I just want to go to bed. Did you find a room you feel comfortable in? Yeah, my old room. It's exactly like I left it. Leonard cleaned it, but he didn't touch a thing. Same as you left it. Exactly. How does that make you feel? They teach psych classes at FEMA. Well, just Who being is this nice. Guy? It's endearing. But I'm not 16 anymore. There's lots of other rooms in the hotel. No. I think I'll sleep just fine. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. So, which way was it? Uh, staff quarters. This place is a maze. I'm not going to go in there just yet. I'm going to go back to the master's suite, which is this way.
Irving Crawford, FEMA. Hey. Hey! Listen, I just wanted to say, if I came across as obnoxious... No problemo. <laughs> I get it. It almost feels like I'm getting used to being here again. <laughs> Whatever. Forget it, I'm beat, and I'm rambling. No, no, I... From the rumors that went around the valley about when you left the hotel, in all that rush, well... Right, I forgot. The Wilsonian mythology. Sorta. Now I'm just gonna chill in my room with the posters of my favorite bands, playing my old bass, totally unplugged. You play the bass? Oh, bass. I suck. I, I wanted to thank before. you. Knowing that I'm not alone here is a huge deal. Yeah, well, uh, thank you for um, listening and not freezing to death in your car. So I owe you my life, then. Wow. It's just... Your job. I know. Night. Night. Good night. Can we play the bass? I wish I could play an instrument. I think it's pretty cool. Day two. So far we've not had a jump scare, we've not been chased, so that's a win in my eyes. We're not dead. Storm looks like it's calmed down a little bit. Still windy though. Morning. Good morning, Nicole. <sighs> Get any sleep? Like a rock. I slept like a rock. I forgot my bed was so comfy. <sighs> so, any news? Uh, uh, what? Uh, are you snoozing, is it? Is the situation on the roads any better? Just uh, give me a sec to get it together. Maybe I need some coffee. I didn't get any shut eye last night and... Wait, you didn't sleep? Like, at all? I thought you might need something and... But I... You didn't go home? Because of me? I'm a workaholic. No oh, shit. So, uh, meteorologists are predicting a peak real soon. Probably tonight. Uh, you can't move, not just yet. In theory, uh, what do you want to do? Better off thinking about primary needs. I don't want to change the subject. <sighs> I'm hungry. I'm going to eat first, then I'll think about it. It's time for you to take a tour of the pantry. Okay. I could eat a horse. I have to survive. Yeah, I need to get something in my stomach or I won't make it out of here alive. You'll be forever grateful for baked beans. So I know the kitchen, we we already s seen the kitchen. So let's try find a way back there. Although it did say when we looked at the shelves that it was moldy food. I don't know if we're going to find anything that's in day or that's edible. Nicole? Irving, uh, how long has it been since someone's inspected the pantry? Inspected? You mean stocked? I'd just like to know if I should choose between malnutrition and food poisoning. There'll be tons of things to eat. Hmm. Oh, definitely no mice or roaches. Pretty static? sure about that. I'm more concerned about the bacterial world and mouse. Hate my idea, ideal of a room. Mm. I was thinking more like mold, bacteria, and such. Uh, you'll see. There's nothing to worry about. For a while, I hid an ant farm in the closet. I think Leonard suggested it. One morning, my bed was swarming with ants. You must have freaked out. My mother did. The ant farm ended up straight in the trash. Your career as an entomologist nipped in the bud. Didn't think I still remembered all these little things. 
bringing back memories for Nicole. Obviously walking around this place, it's been so long since she's been here. Uh, okay, so... Here's... This, what is that noise? Why does it sound like someone's roaming around? Uh, pantry. Search for food in the kitchen area. Um, so, so we got. We must be near. Oh. Uh, we must be near the kitchen area. I'm sure it was. It's got to be one of the doors coming off this corridor somewhere. Go back this way. I must say as well, the 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 voice acting's really good. Visually it's it's really, really good. Ah, this this was the room where we saw the mouldy food. Yeah. Hmm. There's some food, but it looks mouldy. Weird. I didn't expect that. Uh, there's a freezer. Really? Take a look there. Okay. A freezer. Good show. Where is the freezer? Is it a walk-in freezer? Don't, don't, nope, not that, look at that. And unless that is the freezer, then I'm gonna have no choice. What's this? <clears throat> I think we're gonna have to look, aren't we? It's like a. There's a leak. It's like a laundry room. Oh, this is a bit. I don't like it down here. This is a bit freaky. Okay, I don't think the freezer's down here, so I'm gonna go back up. I'm guessing at some point we're gonna have to go down there anyway. These look like freezers. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're just fridges. Ah, here we go. Wow. I hope that doesn't shut behind me. Bean soup. Hmm. Ah! Fucking hell. Oh my god, am I I'm gonna die? Oh, you are joking. Hey. You kidding? Oh my god. Oh, I've got no signal. Oh my god. How do I get out? Oh shit. Hello? Somebody there? Quick, 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 quick. What the hell? Uh, I almost forgot. <gasps> there might be a problem with the fridge door. Oh, Just now make you sure tell me. Are you close. fucking with me? No. Wait, what did I say? It would have been more useful to know that before I got locked in. Oh, holy shit. I'm a freaking space cadet. Could have yeah. died. I could have died in there. Uh, yep. <laughs> and we still don't have food. 
Fantastic. The microwave could be useful to heat the bean. Oh, so I did. I did pick the beans up. Okay. So we need the uh, the microwave. Is this somebody in this hotel with me? Is it haunted? I feel like it's haunted. Yes. Maybe I should get a bowl and a spoon. Ah, oh, there's a... Oh, maybe not that one. Maybe something a little bit cleaner than that. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. So. Uh-huh. Sorry to interrupt your continental breakfast. Uh, I got a hold of Mr. Jenkins, the attorney. <laughs> I'm only taking good news. <laughs> When's he getting here? About time. When's he getting here? He tried to make it. His car ended up in a ditch between York Road and Valley. Oh, come on. He called 911 after just a mile. I'll finish the inspection. Well, I might as well finish the inspection. I can do it without Jenkins. Uh, he told me to give you a message. Here it is. He says to... Hmm. This is a swear word and you don't need to hear it. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nicole, at this point, start assessing the general conditions of the hotel on your own. Uh, jot down what you want to keep. I recommend you start with the second floor. It's surely the most second damaged. Second floor, okay. Please. Only call me if you've got good news. <laughs> okay, second floor. Let's go up. Still expecting something in these corridors to... Jump out or chase me. Alright, where's the stairs up? Ah, here. Second floor. I don't have a key to go into any of these rooms. Yeah, it looks yeah, a lot of mold. There's some serious water stains on the second floor. That floor is pretty run down. There's some windows missing and water damage too. Yeah. What was that? Let's go to the museum. They've been suggesting spent the second floor first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's check the other side as well.
Them creaky floorboards keep getting me as well. From what I can see, I can't rule out serious damage. Uh, refurbishment was scheduled, but they never finished. Guest room cleaning checklists. What does that say at the bottom? Problems with electrics, heating, stink, and... And what's that say? Mouse, mouse in the walls? Rats? Enough is enough. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think I'd want to stay here. Construction cost estimate worksheet cancelled. Oh. Here I am. Uh, what's up? The hallway on the second floor is cut off. The door to the west wing is locked. Your father started renovations, but he didn't get the bank loan and had to stop. Leonard's attic is at the end of the hallway. His man cave. Does that mean something to you? I tried so hard to forget about that room for years. Anyway, uh, the West Wing is pretty run down after all this time with no windows. Yeah. Hello? Hello? You there? Hello? You always have an answer to everything. What do you mean? Tell me the truth. You know too much. He does know a lot. Tell me the truth. Tell me something. What are you hiding from me? I don't understand, Nicole. You know how to turn on the furnace. You know where to find food and that the fridge door is busted. Yeah. You know my family's story and the hotels. It's up to FEMA to deliver the supplies to isolated places like the Timberline. I've been up there with the truck every month since I've been on duty. Mm. Is something wrong? How should I have known? How should I have known that, huh? I don't know. I, I don't know what you know and what you don't know. Uh, what difference does it make? None. I... I'm sorry if I upset you. No one can upset me. I better keep doing the inspection. Okay. Where else to look? Honestly, the this, this surround sound in my headphones, I didn't know whether that was actually in my house or in the game. <laughs> Fucking hell. But the fact that I, my dog's here and my dog's not barking, it must have been on the headset. Wow. Yeah. Hello? This is the Dolby Alert Spotter. Who is what this? The hell? Listen, don't sell your terror. Tell me who you are. Who the hell are you? Rachel is still there. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> is this a joke? Who what is the this? Fuck? Don't do anything stupid. Who the hell is this? You're gonna pay for this lame-ass joke. I have a phone, a cell phone, I'm talking with FEMA, and I'm gonna get them to call the sheriff. Holy shit. This place is haunted! Uh, okay, so what now? We just carry on looking round? You pissed at me? Not at you. I got. I'm not ten years old. I got a different problem. Yeah. I don't have time to rehash my past with you. I've got a different problem. Someone just called the hotel. 
What? Who? A secret admirer. Who gets their kicks out of crank calling me? Well, well your word gets me. around pretty fast. Uh, what did they say? They said, Rachel is alive. Don't sell the hotel. <sighs> Idiot. There's something else that doesn't make sense. The phone lines are down. Leonard stopped paying the bill months ago. I'll ask someone to run a check. Can you do that? I didn't know FEMA had FBI authority. Around these parts, time passes in a different way. Some stories seem like they've been forgotten, but actually they just sink down. Sink down? Like tea leaves in a cup. What do you mean? Flashlight. Sounds creepy. That girl's death. Rachel. It was the result of painful events, and now it's someone's obsession. You talking about anyone in particular? Well, her death ruined two families that everyone looked up to. Yours and Rachel's. Your father, McGrath, a genius astrophysicist. And Rachel's father, the upstanding Reverend Foster, known all over the county. <laughs> Not something easy to forget around here. You know what I think? They can go get fucked, every one of them. I know what we went through. No one else. Fuck them. Ooh. Right, there's a flashlight here which I would really like to pick up, but it hasn't let me. But we need to remember where it was in case we need a flashlight, which I have a strong suspicion that at some point we will. Day three. That was a freaky phone call to get somebody to call up and say... And say that hey, about Rachel. Pie. Daddy? Nicole, it's Irving. Oh, <sighs> sorry. I haven't slept like that for ages. With the sleeping pills and the beans. I must have fallen asleep. I haven't slept like that since I was a kid. You had a tough day yesterday. I think I had a dream. About? Um... Leonard, maybe. Leonard, she, she won't call okay. him dad. Uh, I need you to pay attention, though. Should I worry? The storm brought down some power lines. Uh, of there course. are blackouts all over. Of course. Oh, I wonder why that doesn't surprise me. The electricity generator could go bust. I don't like the idea of you up there on your own in the dark. We need to do something. I don't like the idea of that My either. My electrical know-how is slightly limited. It's okay. I can guide you to the emergency generator. If we activate it, you'll be self-sufficient. Where's the hitch? Too easy. Where's the hitch? Uh, there are two ways of getting to the circuit breaker. Straight through the garage's side door, or from the floor you're on. But? The garage side door is stuck. You'll have to pass through the crawl space along the entire building and climb down from your floor. If the power goes out, you'll be completely in the dark. Oh, fantastic. All right. What do I have to do? Uh, check the closet in your father's apartment and see if he left anything you can use for lighting. Oh, on my way. Okay, so we, we did see a torch. Uh, we did, mm, and remember when I said, remember it's here? Well, already forgot where that is. Oh, look at that. I thought I lost you that time the Thompson girl came to play. Leonard must have found you someplace. Oh, the key's missing. Well, maybe better that way. Right, let's go. Let's find this torch. Oh my god, it is pitch black. Okay, I may need to uh, close the curtains in this room because the light is glaring off the screen, which is making it even more difficult for me to see. 
So bear with me one second. That's a bit better. Okay, I think it was downstairs. Or was it downstairs? Now I'm thinking it wasn't. Quick look at the map. Uh, in the first floor staff area. Uh, so, main floor. First, first floor. Let me go up another floor. Right, where are the stairs to go up? weird noises that keep happening where was that where was that that little uh, closet that had the torch because I knew at some point I'd have to go back for it and I've literally forgot where it is already I can't remember what floor it was on let's try the museum because we haven't actually walked through there properly yet. Hey. Okay. Almost there. I think the lights are getting worse. You need to move fast. On the same floor of your apartment, in the staff area, there's a small storeroom. Your father asked us several times to fix the lock. Fingers crossed, it's still broken. That's where the access to the crawl space is. Okay. The crawl space? I'd totally forgotten that. Remember where to go? No, but I do remember the panels were really hard to open. I wasn't allowed to go in there. What happens when I get to the closet? You'll have to oh, go down to the, the breaker box and switch it on. All right. Doesn't sound like rocket science. Uh, hurry up, please. You suck at reassuring people. Hi, I left you the dynamo flashlight. You'll have to work a little to make some light. Aha, Ben. Yes, give me that. Give me that. Crawl space, okay. Press right trigger to use dynamo. I found the crawl space and also a dynamo flashlight. Know how to use it? I think I just have to push the lever continuously. Is everything okay? I don't remember. I don't remember it was so narrow. I don't remember the crawl space to be so narrow when the technicians went inside. Maybe you gained weight. <laughs> it's called growing up, idiot. Oh, God. This ain't gonna be fun.
shit. What's wrong? It's free. You're clairvoyant. Your prophecy came true. The power went out. It's completely dark. Pitch black. Uh, okay, stay calm. Uh, can you see the bundle of cables above your head? Uh, anyway, yep. there should be some cables along the... Uh, yeah, I know what a bundle is. Okay, okay. Easy does it. All you need to do is follow them and you'll get to the generator room. Don't go any other way, otherwise who knows where you'll end up. Perfect. I got the flashlight, sorta. I got my breadcrumb trail, more like my cable trail, whatever. I can do it. All right, yep. Yeah. Easy. Does it. What's that? Oh, it's a mannequin. What is that doing down here? Oh, please, nothing jump out at me. I can't cope with that if that happens right now. Okay. Electrical board lever. Yeah, that'll do. Lipstick. Oh, we picked it up. No, uh, what's up? Uh, hi. I, I want to ask you something. Okay, uh, go ahead. How long has the hotel been closed? Uh, about four years. Uh, yeah, from 89. I mean, did anyone think about doing a thorough clean of the basement? Don't know. Uh, probably pretty rushed. Why? I found something. Another Polaroid? A lipstick. Huh. Doesn't that seem weird? It's... a... Uh, lipstick? You don't get it. It looks really old. I remember this brand. The, the girls at school used it. Weird. What? It didn't dry out. I could even use it now. It's perfect. I'm afraid I don't get it. Irving, this brand doesn't exist anymore. It's been... I, I don't know, nine or ten years. So what's that doing Strange here? someone should wait 10 years to open a lipstick just to use it, don't you think? Why are you telling me this, Nicole? You want to get pretty there with the generator? <laughs> Cut the crap. A lipstick here is totally out of place. Nicole, hmm. it's just another one of those things customers forget. Uh, I... Well... <sighs> yeah. You're probably right. Screwdriver. So, can we pick the screwdriver up? No, nope. day four. <clears throat> Reporting is ordered, sir. You awake? Sorta. <sighs> you forget your coffee? For once, I don't need it. I gotta talk to you about something. Um, okay. Uh, which room were you? Okay, so we're back here. Clues. Missing. Is she really dead? Have you seen this person? Rachel Foster. Uh, Rachel Foster's body found in Wishard Ridge looks like suicide. It shocked the entire building's heart, the principal told us today. It felt like a huge weight heavy on our souls. We're a tight-knit community, and after this tragedy hit, everyone was struck pretty hard. We just want everyone to know that you're not alone, and you can always find a family in the Hell in the High High School. High School? Sheriff McDonald, it's suicide. We have... 
her last words. She wouldn't commit a sin like suicide. Hang on a minute. The body of Rachel, daughter of the, the pastor Solomon's foster, was found yesterday late in the evening of Wishard Creek near Sheep Mountain. The investigators confirmed she jumped from a 90 foot ridge over the mountain lake. Shit. We have found a letter with clear intent to put an end to her life. After the events at the Timberline Hotel and her vanishing, we were all worried about this tragic ending. 16 years old. Oh shit. Uh, a week a week ago, an affair between teenager and Leonard McGrath, the Timberline Hotel's owner, a former professor, was exposed with great scandal all over the county. The family is in mourning and asked for respect. Holy moly! Where? Oh my Here god! You didn't tell me you knew Leonard. I, I thought we'd been through that. Let me finish. I spent the night going through his stuff, and I want to know what you think. About what? You obviously know more about this place than I do. About what went on here, since I left at least. What do you mean, you went through his stuff? What are you looking for? Someone calls me and says Rachel is alive. Then a lipstick appears out of nowhere. It feels like something weird's going on. Rachel is dead. I want to shed light. I don't know what to think. That's what everyone says. But maybe the story deserves a second pass. There are too many gray areas. Look, the storm is dying down. You'll be able to leave soon and go back to your life. And you can forget about the whole thing, like you did ten years ago. <laughs> what do you care about this old business? It's not worth losing sleep over just to play detective. I'm not busy at the moment. I want to follow my instinct. I haven't done it in so long, and it feels like things don't add up here. Okay, let me hear what you're thinking. If there's one thing Leonard taught me, it's that you've got to listen to what's buzzing in your head. First, it might just be a confusing noise, but if you connect the dots, then it starts making sense. And right now, I've got a beehive in my head. <laughs> All right, let's go hunt some bees then. Okay, so we know Leonard is Nicole's father, and we know he had an affair which tore the family apart. And he had an affair with this with Rachel Foster, who was actually 16 years old at the time. So, no wonder she won't refer to Leonard as dad. Because he was having an affair with a 16 year old. Call Rachel is still here. to-do list something's not right in Rachel's story I have to investigate the clues in Leonard's room and shed light so so my thinking is now did she actually commit did she actually commit suicide or did Leonard mur did Leonard murder her Friend story, newspaper clipping is Rachel's death. Can we ask all three or are we only gonna get a chance to pick one? Uh, so clippings. listen to this. Graphologists doubt the authenticity of the suicide note left by the girl. Who said that? An investigative journalist. The article came out a year after her death. You think it's a setup? Perhaps. 
Okay. Well, I'll hear you out. In this article from a couple years back, there's a statement by some girl who affirms she saw Rachel in a hallway at the Timberline. Who's this girl? A, a classmate, Glenda Ferguson. I tore out the page. I think the magazine was M.T. Woman. Nicole, that's a gossip magazine. They would sell their mother, e even their cousins and nephews, just for a bunch of new readers. Uh, I know, it's not a very reliable source. Rachel fell 90 feet into a void. She can't be alive. I thought I was the skeptical one here. So either she's seen the ghost of Rachel Foster, or the other theory is that Rachel's death was faked. But I, I don't know how it could be faked if... Her body was discovered. I found a copy of the local paper, dated December 29th, 1981, the day that the body was discovered. According to the forensics report, Rachel had been dead for days. She was nine weeks pregnant. Uh, Fucking hell! Yeah, that was the official version. So was the baby Leonard's child? Is that why this all happened? She was having an affair, she got pregnant with his baby, he was married, he already had his own kids. And then he's either, she's committed suicide, I don't, ooh, I don't know, or he's killed her because he didn't want that information to get out. Uh, pasta photo, lipstick, Leonard's book. You know, I can't stop thinking about Rachel's father. Reverend Foster. Oh, did, he did her father do it? was a very strict man. Harsh. Even for pastor standards. He and Leonard spent hours debating the nature of reality, the universe, and God. Well, opposites often attract. Do you ever see him? Rarely. He gives a service once in a while. I don't like priests. He seemed like an alien to me. Priests always made me nervous. Them and their invisible boss. His daughter's death destroyed his ego. His faith made him even more cynical and lonely than he already was. I can remember him demanding, demanding, demanding total perfection from Rachel. That was insane. You don't think he could have harmed his daughter. Hey, no, no. But even Reverend Foster is a player we shouldn't underestimate in this story. Just saying. Uh, right. Hmm. Remember the lipstick I found downstairs? Yep, you made a big deal about it. It doesn't smell. Should it? After they've been open for a while, lipsticks smell really bad. Maybe there's been other women. I mean... From what I gather, Leonard was a sort of recluse. And don't forget, the lipstick is really old. Um, could the cold have preserved? Possibly. Anything else? Yeah, Leonard's book. Hey, I found a book in Leonard's things. It's a collection of poetry, but it's got notes written in it. Did your father write them? What do they say? Dates, notes, thoughts. Listen to this. Today I saw Rachel. Or, Rachel is sad. Or, Rachel says she feels alone. He kept a diary about her but the book was printed eight years after Rachel's death. Do you mean it's like he was talking with Rachel after she died? As if he saw her. Well, I mean, there must be an explanation. Of course, there's an explanation for everything, and we've got to find it. Okay, I'd say that's enough. Yeah, that's enough for tonight. Uh, today, or what the hell time is it? 
You think there's a lot to dig up in this old story? Until I know exactly what happened, not myself. Does he want me to stop? I mean, You'll have to get out of this phone thing and drag me into town. You don't need my approval. Good job. You're getting the hang of it. But sometimes it's better to leave the skeletons in the closet. And once they come out, you never know what they'll have to say. It's a risk I already considered. I can handle it. Hard-headed like your father. <laughs> Trust me, at least on this one thing. Go to bed. You need it. Agent Crawford, this bit of advice. <sighs> I'll follow it to the T. All the clues are pointing towards... Um, I think Rachel is dead. And she is haunting the hotel that we are currently in. And that's what Leonard's diaries about and the sightings the sightings are her ghost hey cutie pie how are you daddy daddy is that you where are you i can't see you you came back in the end it's like the inescapability of a celestial body's revolution we can't help but follow certain stars' brightness. Even if those stars have died millions of years ago. Is it you? For real? Are you real? Their light is alive. And it reaches us. And those stars are alive and dead at the same time. What are you trying to say? I, I don't understand. I, I can't see you, Daddy. Listen, sweet bee. My sweetheart. Listen to my voice. It's important. I can't see you. Where are you? Where are you? You know how much I love you. I know, Daddy. I've always known it. I love you, too. Say it again, please. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Rachel. 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 Day six. Wow. Whoa. How long have we been playing? An hour and a half. Okay. Well. I think I'm gonna morning leave after this. Am I interrupting? I was eating yep. steak and potatoes, cheesecake, strawberry shake, and a frothy cappuccino, Italian style. <laughs> so the usual frozen beans. Sharp as attack, as always, Agent. Uh, I did find something. Um, some tapes that were found in the main office. In truth, I shouldn't even have taken them. Oh, so what'd you find, Billy the Kid? Well, I don't think it's anything useful. Uh, wait, wait, where did I put them? What? The pliers, so I can pry the words out of your mouth. <laughs> oh, sure. Okay, okay. It's, um, it's VHS of the behind the scenes of a TV broadcast, but it's, it's all bullshit just to attract an audience. Uh, trust me Jesus, that you can be really long-winded. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. They're tapes about haunted hotels, weird and mysterious stories, stuff kids like. Uh, with these guys who call themselves ghost hunters. Ghost hunters? Did they hear about the old farting ghost? <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, they went on a tour of old buildings in the county, and they stopped by the timber line, too. Whatever. Let me hear it. Okay. Uh, but I'm warning you, it's kind of... Well, listen for yourself. Okay, okay, the lights look good. How about the headphones? I don't know, there's like a buzzing noise. Listen. Yeah, true. Well, the German ones were better. 
We are about to enter a nightmare hotel, a place full of deceit and secrecy where terrible lies were played out. Nah, I don't like that. I'll do it again later. Oh, the room with the fireplace isn't bad. Okay. Spare me the kitchen. I wouldn't know what the hell to say. Fireplace okay, kitchen no. Stan, where'd you leave all the gear? Room one. I stuck a piece of tape what on the door. I didn't get that. What room? He's a tape I got on a the buzz door. in the headset. Damn microphones. One, one, seven. One, one, seven. Danny, what's that stuff in camera? It's, it's giving off a glare and burns out the frame. I told you no tricks. What tricks? I didn't use anything. <gasps> Stop fucking around, Danny. I told you I didn't rig anything. I saw it too. It's uh, a mirror, isn't it? Huh? It looked like the reflection on a mirror. What'd you smoke this morning? What the fuck are you two up to? Cut the crap, you freaking me. Holy shit, there it is. There it is. Where? I saw it. It's just up there. It's like a light, like a door that opens. I swear. Oh, I... Stop touching me or you'll give me a heart attack. What are you talking about? I'm like over here. Fuck, I felt someone touch me. Are you kidding? Okay. That's it? Yep, the tape's damaged. Too damp. Well, I'd say fucking typical. How ladylike. What happened in the end? It's all BS. What happened in the end with the TV show? Never aired. Some say they ran off, ditching everything there. Yeah, but they mention a room on the tape. I'd like to take a look. It's, uh, 117, I think. 117, yeah. Same floor as my apartment. Okay. So. I'm gonna end it here, guys. But it looks like we're gonna make our way to room 117. The ghost hunters mentioned room 117 on the tape. I want to check. But where is it? Where is it?